Alright, hello, hello. Oh, where were we? I, I, I think yeah, we're still in the cross bell side of things with Lloyd, I think I remember correctly. I, I, I'll, I'll remember as soon as like we start. But if you're new here, welcome. This game is very spoiler heavy. So if you're interested in this series and you want to play the games, I, this is not the game for you. But if you're here to watch anyway, thank you for coming. So let's get to it. You're on. from the east, and I'm guessing it's coded. Precisely. I've used this exact code in my work as Yin before. It says, The dancer and former Zero Child are in our care. Come to the ancient battlefield to the southeast. We await you. Oh! A note written in eastern code delivered on a kunai meant for Yin not hard to figure out who it's from, or who they have in their custody. At least they are both alright. I told you, Kia Strong, didn't I? Still, why would they be looking for Ilya as well? Is something wrong? Boy? Wait. waited this long to contact us without a reason. They may be under their care, but that doesn't mean they are safe. The ancient battlefield is where the cult had its base, right? Can't say I have a good feeling about this, but you're not gonna let that stop you, huh? Of course, as long as there's a chance Kia is there. No dan danger is too great. We'll do whatever it takes to keep her safe. The same way, not going simply isn't an option if that's where our loved ones are. That's right. Let's make sure we're fully prepared before we set off. I think I remember how to get there. It's literally across from this town, I believe. Or right next to it, anyway. It's a strange feeling. Using to continue will cause the main story to advance. It will also not be possible to go any further in Lloyd's story for a brief period. Uh, I think I did everything. And I think, yeah, I think I talked to everybody, so I should be fine. Yeah. This your. Yeah. Proceed. Is something wrong, Lloyd? Oh, sorry. I thought I sent something strange, but it must have been my imagination. Why does my pocket feel bulkier all of a sudden? A mirror? Oh, 
peculiar looking. Where did you find it? I'm not sure. I've never seen it before. Strange as it sounds, it just appeared in my pocket out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't that doesn't just happen. I'm guessing one of the village kids slipped it in your pocket as a prank. Maybe, but I doubt any of them could pull it off without me noticing it. If it's not it, if that's not it, then how did it get in my pocket? I can't even hazard a guess. I feel as though I have it for a reason. It's so bizarre. Where could it have come from? We're finally here. Damn. Ten already? Sure is. Heimdall's pretty far from Ymir. Our next target shall be the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. The Vermilion City C mentioned can only be Heimdall. But the capital is gigantic. We're going to need some way to narrow our search radius. <laughs> you ask me, the race course in the Garnier district seems suspicious. Do they now? I know, I know. I'll save having fun till our work's done. I'd be happy to take you anywhere you like once we've ensured Prince Oliver is safe. As long as it's not the kind of shady businesses I know you want to go to. I got you. Can't very well go to him in uniform. That's not the problem here, Ash. We can go for dessert, though, right? Of course. <laughs> It'll be on me, even. Just focus on the investigation first. Let's start with Lady Arie, since she's agreed to speak with us. To the training hall in the Leica district we go, then. Wait, but where are the other classmates that he has? Where is the rest of the class of moon? Morning after learning from Major Claire Crosswell's occupation. It's not about discussing how we should act. Okay, so this will explain it. Hi Chimes! Hello, hello! We also established contact with all the members of Class 7 that we could... ...to put the plot to inform them of the situation. <laughs> First, there was the matter of Crossbell itself. We knew from the Major's intel that it was under the control of the former Governor General and his Ebon Defense Force. Anxiety over the region's welfare gnawed at us, but as it had been isolated from the outside world, we had no way to learn more. Indeed, there was little we could do on that front for the time being. Oh my. Then there was the matter of the search for Prince Oliver and his wife. Their whereabouts remained unknown. Furthermore, the round of seven system we had used to stay in touch over long distances relied on an artifact stored on the Courageous Two. And with the airship stolen, that method of communication was lost to us. Our only clue was the message sent to the Intelligence Division by C. Vague as it was, the information was undoubtedly our best lead in unraveling the mystery of the Prince's disappearance. 
with hope on the horizon, we set about dividing ourselves into several groups. Oh, okay, that explains. There we go. Maze Reclair and Yuna agreed to head east to get a handle on the situation in Crossbell. Meanwhile, Lord Mat Mateus and Kurt would head west and rendezvous with the students of the Vander School. Musei volunteered to return to the branch campus to meet up with the principal and her fellow students, as well as seek help from other sources. The others would, f <laughs> would all find ways to pay their strengths in aiding our cause. Meanwhile, I was to bring Altina and Ash with me to Heimdall to follow the train left to us by C's message. That is basically our situation as it stands. His Excellency also asked us to tell you that he hopes you'll be able to look after the Hall in his extended absence. Thank you for updating me on everything going on. Oh, Kurt's mother! It's the least we could do. Your husband did a lot for us. More like put us through the goddamn ringer. All while shrugging off our attacks like we were nothing more than a bunch of buzzing mosquitoes. He sent Kurt flying off a cliff, too. I found him quite terrifying. I do hope he didn't leave you with any lasting trauma. <laughs> Still, his is a measured hand. If he came at you that fiercely, he trusted you could handle it. I hope you can understand that he only did what he did because he saw potential in all of you. We do. Don't worry. Yeah. Could tell he wasn't acting with any ill will. If anything, I'm the one with the reputation for being the stern disciplinarian around here. Based on how often I see my students quake at the knees, I'd wager they fear me more than my husband. <laughs> I caught wind of that when we were here for one of our field exercises. Bird's got some monster parents. Surprised the guy ain't half to Martian or something. Hi, Oreo. In the time I spent with him, it was clear there was much more to him than a stern presence on the battlefield. He was kind enough to share some wisdom with me, too. Was he now? <laughs> He's a man of few words, so that's very unusual. Can't picture that happening at all. <laughs> Same here. Please don't speak rudely about the man in front of his wife, you two. Don't worry, I appreciate their honesty. Still, I'm glad to see that you all seem even more united as a class than you did when you were last here. <laughs> Thank you. Do continue to look after my curtains, won't you? Of course. We would, even if we weren't asked to. And if he won't tell him getting in that kind of good, good, good kind of trouble, I'm his guy. <laughs> getting back to why we're here. Has anything out of the ordinary happened in the capital recently? Students who were here have split up across Erebonia to search for information on Prince Oliver's whereabouts. As such, I'm not as well in informed on the situation here in Heimdall as I would be. But there is one thing I feel is worth mentioning. What is that? It feels as though there are more people coming and going than there should be. Especially given how there are no festivals or celebrations here around this time of year. It's making the capital feel more restless than usual. Differently from how it did during the summer festival. It's as though there's something stagnant in the air. Hmm. I'll be glad to not have to deal with any more Calvin spies like at the festival, that's for sure. Stagnant air is all you're gonna get in the city to begin with. You feel anything out of whack, Schwarza? <laughs> Why am I giving the voice? <laughs> Not especially, if I'm honest. I'm guessing it's a relatively slight difference, ma'am. <laughs> yes. 
may even just be my imagination. You've lived in Heimdall for a long time. If something feels amiss to you, it likely is. We'll keep that in mind as we investigate. Sorry, I can't provide you with any more concrete information. There's one thing I can do, however. I'd like to introduce you to someone dependable to aid your investigation. Uh oh. Who might that be? Well, I say introduce. But you in particular know her very well. She should be here any moment now. Ah, oh, there we are. Who is it? You want to come in? <gasps> yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I think I know who that is. Yes. I suspected as much. Yes. By all means. Green sister. Elise. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all again. The same to you. <laughs> so she's our little helper, huh? Indeed. Sister Doreen, friend to Princess Alfin, and head of St. Astraya's Student Council. The noble Elise Schwarzer herself. The Princess and Muse have already apprised me of the situation, so I spoke with Lady Aurier and volunteered to aid you upon your arrival. I apologize if my behavior strikes you as meddlesome, but I am certain that I will be able to aid you in your investigation. You do know more about the capital than any of us. <sighs> you're not coming, and that's final. Green, I know you're a big boy brother after all. But... Come on. <laughs> Out comes the big brother. <laughs> the big brother. <laughs> There's still far too much we don't know about the situation here. Given that our enemies <laughs> pilfered the name of the Imperial <laughs> Liberation <laughs> Front, funny. we could very well be dealing with terrorists. Involving a civilian in this would be downright irresponsible. So I'm just a civilian, am I? Just a no-good student without a mode of power to her name? That's not what I'm trying to... Oh, I think it is. But even leaving that aside, your blunt dismissal misses an important point. And what point is that? That the situation at hand doesn't relate to me, when I am Princess Elfin's dearest friend. But that is that, and this is... this. As we speak, she is racked with worry over her brother's well-being. Yet, as the matter is confidential, she has to feign a smile and act as though everything is normal. She cannot cast her responsibilities aside and aid in the search herself, either. And because she cannot, I will do so in her place. If I just sit by idly while she suffers in silence and do nothing to alleviate her burden, I won't be fit to call myself her friend ever again. Please. Looks like you lose this one, Schwarzer. You realize both of them are Schwarzer in this context. If I may, I think you would do well to put your trust in her here. Her skill with a rapier is formidable. <sighs> that may be so, but... I have toiled long and hard to master the art of fencing passed down through our family. Of late, I have even grown under Lady Aurier's tutelage. And far from letting my pen rest while my sword hand improves, I have overcome many a challenge as student council president. I am no longer a cowering child in need of your protection, dear brother. <sighs> All right. Ash called this one right. You win. Then... We'll be glad to have your assistance. But if things get dangerous, I want you to do as I say. Deal? Deal! So adorable. <laughs> I wish you all well in your investigation. Please, do be careful. Should I catch wind of anything new here, I'll let you know immediately. Thank you. We appreciate it. Then let us set off. I will do my best not to overextend myself and leave you all to carry the burden. But please, if you are truly in need, I hope you won't hesitate to tell me. For even I possess a strength that you can lean on. Thanks. It's good to know you've got my back. And the feeling is mutual. <laughs> this will be fun. Engaging. Since we got to control his sister. I think the last time was cold still too. 
don't remember if you, she was playable during the final battle. But yeah, it's been a fat minute. Hello. I don't remember what your attacks are. Eh, well, I'll find out in battle when we get there. <laughs> scheduled gathering. <laughs> no point in rushing then. Shall we patrol the districts and gather some intelligence? That way we can meet with the others along the way. Given your familiarity with the area, that certainly sounds like the most efficient plan. That reminds me, apparently the violent nerd who was supposed to meet up with us is from here. <laughs> Right. Elliot hasn't been on tour, so he's been working in the city. Machius was from the capital, too. My boy Machius. Love him. Machius, Elisa, Toa, and Sharon. I hope they're doing alright. I'm sure they are. Now, let's focus on what we can do. You were right, Marie. Talk to NPCs. When I got drafted, I was shocked by how wimpy I was. It really ought to work out. That way, I could at least protect my own self. Hello, old man. This one, the Imperial Government, the Royal Family, the RF Company, and the four great houses paid massive. Reparations to the Republic, yeah? <laughs> Financial losses incurred during the Civil War, losses from the Great War due to weapons manufacturing and now reparations. The Empire may still be one of two superpowers on the continent, but never has it been so weak. I'd be delusional to think otherwise. <sighs> Must this self inflicted, but it's horrific to witness all the same. Did I read that right? I have no idea. <laughs> I saw Princess Alfie drop by the other day for inspections. She must be terribly busy with her post-war responsibilities, not to mention the matter with the Crown Prince. But she's lovely as ever. <laughs> and the Prince got married not too long ago himself. The royal family never fails to put a smile on my face. Bursting as the seams with Taurus. Even some months later, things still aren't quite back to normal. <laughs> the doctor? Hello. I'm taking a walk with Grandma today. It's nice and warm, not, not a whole lot of people are out, so it's perfect. <laughs> Hello. Ugh. Now, why are there so many different kinds of fishing gear? Now, no, you're going to have a rough time out here if that's what's vexing you. Huh? Well, if it ain't the folks from Margarine. Oh, hey! It's the Ashen Awakener and friends! What a small world! <laughs> As a matter of fact, his sister Nina passed her test to become a wandering witch. Since so she may end up traveling outside the outside world, Marjorie and I have been showing her the ropes. While we were at it, we figured we'd drag her little brother along to see the outside world too. Eh, I might end up being a big help to Nina. Oh, and just to be clear, I did a ton of studying to make sure I can get by here. I had no idea. Really 
been at it. We have been going at it for the past several months. By the way, even I can sense mana when I use the pendulum Lady Rose gave me. I've been feeling a weird presence in that huge building over there. Can we really leave it like that? <laughs> a strange presence? Ah, uh, he had no mind. I was planning on checking out the museum anyway. But I gotta babysit this twerp, so my hands are more than full. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving the voice. <laughs> I gotcha. We'll see if we can take care of it ourselves. Did I talk to you, old man? I did. I did. I did. Should we check the Imperial Museum while we're here? Wouldn't hurt to poke our noses inside. My old upperclassmen might even be on shift. Oh, oh my god, the BL fangirl, is she here? The BL fangirl, please, 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 please. Give me that yaoi. Please. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she be? Where is she? Here we are. The Imperial Museum. There don't seem to be many visitors today. There she it is. isn't Reen. <laughs> Haven't seen you around here since the branch campus's field exercises. Hey, Dorothy. Good to see you. Dorothy. How's work been treating you? Pretty good, all things considered. Actually, my publisher's been pushing me to become a full-time author after how well my latest novel sold. But I like my work as a curator too, so I don't think I'm ready to quit just yet. <laughs> That's great. Always nice to have options. And there's the other reason I don't want to go into full writing full time. I probably become a total shut in. <laughs> I miss out on all this. I find the best way to seek inspiration is to observe daily life. People watching, so to speak. Why, as I was on my way home from work the other day, I spotted a budding flower at the nearby cafe that caught my eye. My mind went full of wild imagining the experiences that could end the precarious final days of his youth. <laughs> oh, I can't keep doing this. My nose is going to bleed all over my blouse again at this rate. It's no wonder why her highness sees you as a kindred spirit. Oh, and it's good to see you again, Nash. I've been wanting to give you an update about the joint publication between our old literature club and yours. All that's left us together is a collection of poems by none other than yourself. Tatiana and I haven't given up hope that you'll, sub that you'll submit them yet. Lay off, will ya? I told you I'll do it if I feel like it. It's only a matter of time before he gives in. No doubt. <laughs> so what brings you here all to the capital today? Is that something to do with that evil defense force group that occupied Crosswell? Doesn't seem like she's heard anything about Prince Oliver and Lady Shiro. Yeah, something like that. By the way, is it just me, or are there fewer visitors here than normal? You noticed? Actually, the museum put a restriction on the number of visitors allowed at once recently. Something came up that has us concerned. Concerned? What do you mean? Remember the museum is connected to a tunnel that leads to Heimdall's catacombs, right? We've been hearing what sounds like voices coming from that direction lately. It's... kind of scary. I would imagine. Do you think it could be monsters? Maybe, but if anything, it sounds more like a ghost. Something completely unnatural. I dusted off my old orbital staff to take a look down there before, but I didn't come across any signs of monsters. A ghost, huh? You expect us to believe that bullshit? <laughs> Might remind you that we experienced monsters in a magic night down there already. 
Not to mention, this was the spot the Dark Dragon's Nest appeared before the Great Twilight. Something abnormal happening again isn't out of the question. Come to think of it, Instructor Sarah told us she dropped by here a couple of weeks ago. I wasn't here at the time, but the head cur curator told me as much. There apparently was a break-in, so she came to investigate. I don't think it has anything to do with the noises we've been hearing, though. Perhaps it wouldn't, but it wouldn't hurt to keep it in mind. We should begin our investigation soon. We did put a formal request in with the guild already. But I guess they're swamped with all other things right now. They said it'll be a while before they can get around to it. That's a shame. But I'm not surprised that they would be busy. Right, but we can't afford to just let the situation go unchecked. Would you mind if we looked into it, Dorothy? Not at all! We would really appreciate it! Man, this is going to be a pain in the ass, but I guess it's better than letting this place get done in by a poltergeist or something. Whether the cause is paranormal or not, I think this will be worth our time. I agree. There's a possibility that we could discover something that pertains to our current investigation. In that case, you should take this. We received a museum basement key. Let's go. It's just over there, to the left of the main exhibit. Thank you, and do be careful. We will be. I love Dorothy. Hello. Once you're in the main exhibition room, hang left and you'll find the stairs that will take you down to the basement. Whatever it is I heard down there, it sounded completely otherworldly. I'm sure you and the others can handle it just fine, but please, be careful, Maria. I'm up! This'll be fun! My turn. Yeah. Actually, let's talk to you. It pains me to think that there could be trouble brewing in the catacombs of the museum I curate yet again. I can't deny that it's possible given what's happened before. A door to another realm appearing and all. I hope you all will be careful if you're planning to go down there. Yes. Let's go. Spooky. It's been a minute since I've been here. There, four eyes. Didn't she say she couldn't find any monsters? That just means the situation has gotten worse since Dorothy checked. And I don't think these are your average kind of monsters. I've seen this type of creature in the past an evil fairy, undoubtedly a type of demon. Ah, just as we expected then. I don't know if it's because of them, but I feel a chill on my skin. That's that just speaks to how powerful the spiritual presence is here. Somehow though, I don't think these demons are the only reason for this. Oh boy. There's gold. Let's keep our guards up and take care of these things! 
Beginning suppression. Alrighty. Oh my god, he has a lot. Okay, let's what can you do? Forte. Arcus, okay. activate! You do chrono drive. Uh... And then you what do I want to do? Uh... My turn. And then you Rihanna! Fire! Attack! Yeah, that works. Let's do this. Everyone! Yeah. Where are they instantly Our dead? Our victory is oh. complete. Oh, well then. <laughs> I didn't have to do all of that. <laughs> Combat situation resolved. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like there are still more. It could be that they'll just keep coming endlessly. That spiritual presence is as strong as ever. Whatever. They're small fry to me. <laughs> but I suppose your little sister ain't too bad, Schwarzer. Beautiful fencing. Powerful arts and precise support. <laughs> There's no way you learned all of that at St. Destraya. Correct. I belong to no club either. In my case, the rapier skills father taught me served as the basis of my fighting technique. And when I was younger, Green tutored me as well. I see. You said as much as the dojo earlier, but you grew up in the perfect environment. <laughs> she even took lessons from Master Kofi with me before. And then on top of that, she's been trained by the Storm Watcher too. Honestly, you could describe Elisa's style as entirely unique to her. <laughs> Please, you exaggerate. Damn, you ain't you ain't Schwarzer's little sis for nothing. Big old monster. Is this the voice Dorothy mentioned? It's coming from deeper within. Oh. Good boy. Yeah. It's totally different from before. Is this an apparition? I swear I just saw something resembling Laroma grass for a second. This pressure is immense. This thing's completely different than what we've fought so far. A hostile spiritual being. It's my first time seeing one like this. It's like the deep-seated grudge of the sorcerer from the Dark Ages made manifest. Either way, it's clear this thing is the source of our problems. Then we just gotta whoop its ass. Easy! A seven impresses, as always. I must be careful not to hold you all back. We've got four on our side. The absolute bare minimal. It's like the enemy doesn't plan on leaving. If we want to be absolutely sure we can beat it, we should probably fight it with everyone together. Oh, this is oh. Subdue the apparition! Let's get rid of this thing! Here we go, everyone! Yeah! Roger that! This one's strong! Be careful! Oh, critical already. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Roar! Here like now! Yeah. It's mine! Sure. Another critical? Don't mind That's something. Critical. Bullseye! It's down! Got him! <laughs> I shall go. Uh, attack there. Search mode activated. Details procured. Yeah. I'll fight! Okay, that's what she does. Ah, no! Let's go, Altina! Yes, ah. I shall go. Oh, no drive, let's do this. Charging. Oh boy. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. A lot Thank of you. Okay. I'll fight. Um. Don't oh, rain your blades oh, down nice. upon us. Uh, Thank you. Oh my god! Oh 
my god! Sorry. What the fuck? Everyone. Oh my strength depleted. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 okay. Exercise caution. <laughs> Arcus activate. Let's, let's I'll fight. Not maybe do that. Okay. Arcus activate. Engaging. Yeah. Yeah. This will be fun. What can you do? Arcus activate. Yeah. Maybe let's try to get rid of them. Might be the first thing that we do. Time to pay this. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> oh. uh, the last call. Sinners, rumble ray. Now, transform. Block, block, open fire. We need extermination. Uh, okay, that got huh. rid of all of those. Eternally flowing. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Up. Hey, you press it. Yeah. Got I shall go. Search mode activated. Details procured. I'm up. Uh... Go berserk. Infernal hunt. It's my turn. Cut through. Not on my watch. Oh, for that damage. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 I shall no, go. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. We can revive. Yes, wait. What's 
I not aim it at her? She's too far away! Oh my god! Okay. Fine. <laughs> Numbers up! <laughs> nice! Stats updated. Good work, everyone. Whew. I'm glad things worked out. And it feels like the atmosphere around here is calming down. And the apparition was the source of the problems down here. That seems like a safe conclusion. I imagine the rest of the monsters will leave as time goes on. You know, I may have underestimated your skills, Elise. You've gotten so strong. Stronger than I ever could have imagined. As your big brother, I'll always be fussing over you at least a little. But now I know I can absolutely trust you to have my back. You mean it? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> Pretty candid of you there, Schwarzer. That just goes to show how much Elise's resolve got through to him. Now then, cleared up the cause of that creepy voice. Let's head back up and let Dorothy know what happened here. Okie dokie. Dorothy! expected something like that to appear down there. Thank you so much, Reed. Don't mention it. We're glad we could help. I still wonder what could have caused a spiritual being like that to appear. It's a good question. I know strange monsters and devils appeared across the Empire during the last two wars, but why now of all times? And there's not just this incident. A magic knight appeared in Ymir recently as well. I still don't know what caused it. I'm convinced that something is happening just below Erebonia's surface again, at least. Great. Can't this country take a vacation from all the crazy supernatural crap for once? <laughs> it was a lot like those otherworldly devils that appeared during the Great Twilight. Recall the ones we fought that last day, all, all attempting to absorb large amounts of power. In fact, their appearance may have been, may have had something to do with the holy beast of Earth. What's happening now is likely caused by something much different, but it's hard to ignore how similar the outcomes are. In any case, we don't have enough information to draw a conclusion as things stand. We should continue focusing on the investigation in front of us like we have been. Oh, would you take this? Consider it, consider it a token of gratitude. You won't be needing to compensate the guild thanks to your help after all. Hopefully it will prove useful during your investigation. Oh, money is gold! Thanks, Dorothy. We appreciate it. And, before you go, could I interest you in a few copies of the new book I mentioned earlier? This third volume of the romance series I poured my blood, sweat, and tears into! Love Song in the Autumn Rain! What temptations await the pair of young men after overcoming so many trials! I'd go on, but, but saying any more would be spoilers. <laughs> Well, uh, wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? <laughs> and besides, I'd rather support you by purchasing it for myself at a bookstore. You make a good point. 
You see, you see, Reed Schwarzer is an advocate of reading boys' love, okay? He's into it. He don't mind it. He embraces the BL. <laughs> in that case, I'll be looking forward to hearing your thoughts when you buy it for yourself and give it a read. He reads it. He reads it. Okay, okay. Look for in the first game, he was like, he's been re he like read all a bunch of her BL <laughs> and recommended it to him. He like spent an entire evening just reading BL with her. <laughs> Especially you, Ash. Oh hell no! <laughs> I expect Ash's spiciest essay today. <laughs> Fun. Fun. <laughs> Let's see. Ross doesn't want us to go. Maybe we need to leave the, this area, probably. a good time to end the stream here. Ne I believe in the next one we'll be going into the next part of the city. Or well the capital. We'll be going into the next part of the capital. But yeah, thank you all for stopping by. It means a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for a raid. Um, let me see who's online right now. Sora Somnio. He's playing Dude by Daylight, apparently. Yeah, let's go check him out. Ready? I'm gonna transition, but first, let me. Do, 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 do. Set it up. Okay, raid. Do, 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 do. Sora Somnio. Sora Somnio. Okie dokie. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Alrighty, I'm gonna transition out. Bye bye, thank you all for coming, and again, feel free to join us for the raid. <laughs>